If you're new to Norwex, our mission is to improve quality of life by radically reducing chemicals in homes. Um, I hear a lot, what makes Norwex different? Why is this different than a rag that I could buy at Walmart? And I'm so glad that you're wondering that um, because it's so different. I'm going to tell you why. So what I love about Norwex is I haven't been down the cleaning aisle in three years. I don't have a cabinet of stuff that my kids can any longer get into. And I don't have to keep rebuying stuff. Norwex saves you time and money and it does a better job. So I'm going to show that to you right now. Um, this is our Enviro cloth. Okay, so I'm going to show you three products. We're going to clean, polish, and dust. This is our Enviro cloth. The thing I want you to remember about Enviro is E for everything. People are like, I'm not sure what to do with my Enviro cloth literally everything. Um, what makes this different than a rag that you would buy at Sam's Club or Costco or wherever it is that you have in your area is number one, the density. This is one two hundredth of the human hair thread count. And one that you would buy just at Walmart or something like that is one sixth of the human hair. But why does that matter to you, right? You're cleaning with it. So what that does, there's three ways that you can clean. There is chemically, mechanically, and then by heat, basically burning bacteria off, right? So Norwex is a mechanical clean. Just with my cloth and water, those tiny, tiny little fibers pull up and remove 99% of contaminants from a surface equal to one of these guys, okay? And the government actually wanted to consider our microfiber as a pesticide for a while because of it. Well, how could a cloth be a pesticide? Well, it can't, so we won against that, and we can legally say that just my cloth and water removes 99% of contaminants from the surface. So this is my cleaning E for everything cloth. It gets off gunk and goo and all kinds of stuff. Okay, some of the things that I have done with this, I've gotten blood out of my couches, pen out of my cloth, car seats in my vehicle, um, grape juice off of my carpet, white paint off of a hostess's leather seats, a crayon off of the roof of a car. It really is like my magic crazy Superman cloth, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so E for everything Enviro cloth. This is my our flagship product, our staple product. Okay, what's really great about our microfiber is it's warranted for two years. If you have it a year, 11 months and 27 days in and something goes wrong with your cloth, you literally shoot your consultant a text, call them, it costs them nothing. Norwex gives you a whole nother one for free. And one cloth is the same price as a pack of bounty paper towels. Paper towels are expensive, and I love that this replaces all of that, and it's peace of mind for me and my family, okay? So E for everything in viral cloth. The next is the window cloth. This replaces Windex, anything that you use to make something shiny. Windex and paper towels, whatever that may be. I'm going to show all of these to you in just a second. But pea purple polish is a great, great way to remember this, okay? So you can do your mirrors, your TVs, your glass cooktops, your stainless steel appliances. Ma'am, those are a pain, right? Literally all the streaks away. Uh, my sister is a hairstylist. She is only a Norwex consultant for the discount. And she was doing their mirrors with the window cloth and a lady was processing and she was like what's that witchcraft you just did to all of those mirrors because it's amazing so literally no more Windex totally gone and it's amazing you just have to see it okay and then the third piece of this puzzle is the dusting mitt we've cleaned we've polished and now we are going to uh, dust I'm highly allergic to dust so I can't dust because what happens when you dust it all flies up and you're breathing it in and it's yucky okay so this is high piled microfiber that literally latches on to that dust and it doesn't go anywhere it just stays I've literally had golf ball sized dust bunnies on here. What's really cool when you're doing blinds, pinch your blind, go along or do this, roll up, go up, go down. You know, if you're dusting a mantle, normally you have to clean everything off and dust. This, you literally can just dust your little candelabra or your picture frame and dust underneath it and it's trapped, okay? And let me tell you a secret about a liquid dusting agent. When you're spraying something, it leaves on purpose a film behind on the surface so dust has something to stick to. Then you have have to dust more frequently and buy more product. It's a conspiracy theory, but it's true, okay? The dusting mitt is fabulous. And something else I love about all of these, it's fast, easy, kids can even do it, okay? So I'm gonna show you the dusting mitt really quick, and then I'm gonna show you the other two. So I've got a good pile of cocoa powder here. Um, that's a really good pile. So I'm gonna take my dusting mitt, and I'm literally just going to grab it off the surface. It's not falling anywhere. It's not um, going anywhere. I'm shaking it. It literally stays right here 
on the dusting mitt. This is awesome. You can do your screens with it. You can take it to the beach and do sand on your body or in your vehicle. The dusting mitt is a must have. Uh, you might even want two eventually because you just go all around doing it, okay? So the dusting mitt is safe and effective and warrantied for two years as well, okay? So I needed to clean off my tile because now comes to the good part, all right? Um, so something I haven't yet told you about our microfiber. All of those three pieces that I just showed you are microfiber, but something I haven't yet told you is at the very beginning stages of production, just like coffee is added to creamer, they add micro silver to our microfiber. That's why we stand apart. Uh, silver is naturally antibacterial or antimicrobial. So if anybody has a stinky kitchen rag or a bath towel that never smells great, it's oftentimes because bacteria is able to just breathe and grow within your fibers. So that silver inhibits the growth of bacteria inside of your cloth. So that microfiber is mechanically picking it off of the surface and then that micro silver is stopping it from reproducing and getting your cloth nasty. So when I'm done with my Enviro cloth, I rinse it really well with warm water, rubbing it against itself, wring it out, and I hang it from that nice tag. And that silver acts like a bacteria birth control that stops bacteria from reproducing in your cloth. I can use my same Enviro cloth for two weeks before laundering it. And I know what you're thinking. I love when people are skeptics because they'll get some Norwex microfiber and every day they'll smell test it and it doesn't smell and it's amazing, okay? So it's doing its job and I'm about to show you how it does its job, okay? So I'm gonna take this chicken, okay? This is some raw chicken and we're gonna rub it all over this tile right here, okay? And then I'm gonna get the tag side of my Enviro cloth, not because it's special, but just because uh, I want you to see that I'm not gonna cross contaminate, that I'm gonna use the same side every time. So I'm gonna wipe up that nice chicken juice here, okay, with just my cloth and water. You only ever need or want to use water with Norlex. Um, it's a mechanical clean versus a chemical clean. Spraying something with chemicals and letting it sit does not warrant clean all of the time. So I'm showing you that here, okay? So I've cleaned my tile here, and then I've got this lovely little swab. This is called a protein test swab. This is not a Norwex product, it's from Hygienia. This is oftentimes how they give restaurants their grades because bacteria has to be cultured and sent off, which they do, but this is the way they can tell instantly how clean a surface is. So green is good, purple is bad. So we're gonna take our swab here. We do not wanna see any protein left on the surface. Protein is actually a smaller form of bacteria than even MRSA, okay? I have a doctor on my team. She's done this same test on an x-ray table, both of the tests I'm about to show you, um, with hospital-grade disinfectant wipes, okay? So we wanna see no protein on the surface. So we are green, green for good, right? Well, what if I took the same cloth and I wiped here on my countertop surface with the same side, that same tag side, okay? And then I'm gonna take my swab here and I'm gonna swab this surface as well to show that my cloth did not take it from one surface and spread it, whoops, sorry, to the other. There we go, did not spread it to the other, okay? Give it a little shake and green for good still. But what about the actual cloth itself? Like surely it's just sitting there festering, right? So I'm gonna take my same swab, green side, and tag side, and I'm gonna swab the cloth. Makeup and all now, right? Okay, I'm gonna swab that. And I feel so good about this. Look, I would even put it on my face because I know that it's doing a great job of pulling the contaminants in. Give it a little shake. Green for good, okay? We're still green for good. But maybe this is just a faulty test swab and it always stays green. So I want you to see how quickly that it actually turns nasty purple, okay? So it's starting to now match my flowers, right, instead. So we're gonna stick it in there and give it a little shake and watch that. See how quickly that were purple? Super sensitive, okay? So my Enviro cloth did a great job of pulling those contaminants in and locking them within the cloth, okay? Um, but let's take it one step further. What about um, stomach flu or something like that, okay? So I wanna encourage you, if you've never read the back of one of these, I don't care what brand it is, even hospital grade sandy wipes, have you read the directions or the warnings on one of these? This is a huge problem and something that I did not even know, so I wanted to share with people. It actually says on the back of this, to disinfect, use to disinfect hard, non-porous surfaces, wipe surface to be disinfected, using enough wipes for treated surface to remain visibly wet for four 
minutes. Who does that? No one. The spray actually says 10 minutes and that you cannot let these come in contact with skin or any surfaces that come in contact with food. After you've sprayed with the disinfectant spray, for 10 minutes after you've let it sit visibly wet, you're supposed to rinse the surface with water. And the warnings on these causes eye irritations. Don't let them come in contact with children. We use these in our schools. This is a pesticide. Do not use near an open flame. Slowly and gently rinse the surface with a 15 to uh, for 20 seconds with water. It's literally insane all of the warnings on this. I'm not comfortable with that. Uh, California and Colorado have actually banned disinfectant wipes in schools because it's more dangerous to children than germs themselves. And so many places are resorting to microfiber. Hospitals, schools, microfiber, okay? So Norwex is just the, the up and coming because of the silver as well. So we're gonna put this to the test, okay? So I'm gonna take one of these little guys and I'm gonna take uh, my tile here. I'm gonna show you before. This is gonna be a glow in the dark thing. So I want you to see my tile. You can see the one little dot glowing there. Um, and I'm gonna take this stuff. This is called Glow Germ. This is not a Norwex product. You can buy it on Amazon actually. But um, you, uh, we're gonna use this as germ, stomach flu or whatever it might be, okay? But I want you to see my hands before. Here's this hand. You can see it's not glowing and I barely touched that glow germ and see how my fingers glowing right there I barely touched it okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to sprinkle it here on my tile okay and then I'm gonna take this hand I'm never gonna touch the glow germ with this hand okay I'm gonna take this hand and I'm gonna spread it all out so we have an even surface to work with okay now remember I've touched it here but not here. So I'm gonna take my wipe and I'm gonna clean this tile just like you would normally, but I wanna show it to you beforehand. Check out what the tile looks like. See all that glowing stuff, all of my handprints, okay? So I'm gonna take the wipe and I'm gonna clean this tile just like people would. And I'm actually gonna to try to do it a little better than most people would because clean has a smell, right? Wrong, okay? So I love to do this at in-home parties because I have people touch my tile. I have them test. Does it look clean? Does it smell clean? And run their fingers along it. But I'm not even gonna do that, okay? I'm just going to show you. Remember, I've never touched it with this hand, only this hand, okay? So let's see how well that Clorox wipe did. Check that out. It literally, because you can see even my little fingerprint right there in the corner where it didn't get, it literally just spreads it all over this tile. What's even more disturbing is check out my hand that never even touched those germs. Do you see how much my hand is glowing? It literally just went right through the wipe because you can see my arm is not glowing. My hand is glowing. It went right through that Clorox wipe to my hand. Remember that one's glowing because I touched it. Right through. So it no longer becomes about like chemicals are gross, ooh, that's disgusting. That's amazingly appalling, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna fix it. Just my Enviro cloth and water, same tag side that I did the chicken demo with, and we're just gonna do half of the tile, very briefly with just my cloth and water. It's a paradigm shift, we do what we were taught. I did whatever my mom said, I went around my house with my big arsenal of chemicals and cleaned my home. But your skin is your largest organ. Everything that comes in contact with your skin is inside of your body within 26 seconds. So I don't want chemicals in my house anymore. So let's see. Which side would you rather eat on? This side cleaned by Norwex or this side cleaned by the Clorox wipe? Pretty eye-opening, right? Pretty eye-opening. And um, literally, just the cloth and water, okay? So, another piece that I love is my kitchen cloths. Who hates stinky kitchen cloths? These come in 10 different colors. Um, they're this size, it's a wider ribbing so it lets go of all those crumbs. I use this 10 to 15 times a day. It's 10.99 and you're not gonna have stinky kitchen cloths anymore. We've got pomegranate, graphite, lavender, whatever colors, charcoal, I love that color. Um, whatever matches your kitchen decor and they're self purifying. So you can use a kitchen cloth for five to seven days before you launder it. Um, and then very last but not least, I wanted to actually demo the window cloth for you. Let me see if I can show you well enough here. Okay, so I've got my Enviro cloth here and I smeared some toothpaste. Excuse, this is my actual bathroom. So this is toothpaste and hairspray. Because what sold my mother-in-law was she could not get um, toothpaste. So when you're cleaning a window, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your wet Enviro cloth, or if this is stainless steel, or if this is um, you know anything that you want shiny, okay? So take your wet Enviro cloth, 
first remove the contaminants from the surface. So I'm wiping away all that toothpaste, all that junk, doggy nose prints, kid hand prints, peanut butter, whatever it may be. And then I'm taking my dry window cloth, wax on, wax off, like Bert and Ernie, and I just polish it to shine, to a streak-free shine. Just my dry window cloth. My husband can actually detail a whole vehicle with just the cloths and water. And you're gonna watch the streaks disappear and it is amazing, literally. How close, whoa, that's shaky. How close you can get. Well, there's so many of me um, to that. So literally all you need is your two cloths. So I hope that you've learned a lot and that you enjoy the rest of the party. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, let, let us know, okay? Um, I also wanted to point out at the end of the party, you're gonna receive a catalog. It's a lot of information to take in, or maybe you're new to Norwex and you're not sure where to start. I highly recommend on page 50, these are our starter packages, okay? So the ones I covered today is called the household package. These are going to cover almost everything you need in your home. Enviro cloth for cleaning, window cloth for polishing, dusting mitt for dusting, okay? Those three items literally replace 90% of what's currently under your cabinets, and you've got that two-year warranty, and it's peace of mind as well. Um, we have the kitchen cloth. My favorite one is the safe haven because there's other things that you don't even know about yet laundry detergent and cleaning paste uh, body cloths that remove all of your makeup it's amazing with just the cloth and water great for acne and eczema um, so many other things but happy looking there's so many more things but these are definitely the best places to start is those packages it saves you money to buy those items together um, even the basic package environment window but I will promise you once you start you will never want to go back all right bye